Number 31, in a jump spike, a volleyball player lands the ball from overhead and toward the opposite floor. Controlling the angle of the spike is difficult. Suppose a ball is spiked from a height of 2.3 meters with an initial speed of 20 meters per second at a downward angle of 18 degrees. How much farther on the opposite floor would it have landed if the downward angle were instead 8 degrees? So let's suppose this is the floor and this is where the ball is initially so the first movement of the ball let's say that's the initial speed over here so that's the initial speed of the ball and the movement is a parabola so the ball hits the ground let's say at a distance delta x1 and this angle over here with the horizontal this angle over here is equal to 18 degrees. The second movement, so let's, let's redraw here. Now for the second movement, the angle decreases a little bit. So V would be something like this. And the angle, that's the angle, which is 8 degrees. Okay, so now the parabola is something like this and we have a distance of delta x2 so what we have to do is to calculate this difference of the distance right between that point and this point so this is our goal here we have to calculate this distance so this problem it's a constant acceleration problem so let's say this is our y direction and this is our x direction so let's say that's why y points downwards so since this is a constant acceleration problem because we are at planet earth there are three different equations that we can use they are x equals to x o plus v o t plus a t squared over 2 we can also use v equals to v o plus a t and v squared equals to v o squared plus 2 times a delta x however those three equations work only for one dimension so when we are working with two dimensions we have to add some features here so this is v o x this is a x v x v o x a x v x v o x a x so now those are the three equations for the x direction we have to rewrite them for the y direction so we have y equals to y o plus v o y t plus a y t squared over 2 we also have v y equals to v o y plus a y t and we have v y squared equals to v o y squared plus 2 times a y delta y so those are the six equations that we have we can cross out some terms here so let's say this is the origin of our coordinate system so x o is equal to zero y o is equal to zero we don't have acceleration in the x direction because the acceleration at planet earth points downwards so this goes away this goes away and that goes away as well okay the initial speeds so we can write v o x equal to v times the cosine of the angle and v o i y equals to v times the sine of the angle right so let us just circle the things that we don't know that's the trick that i always tell my students that i would i always teach my students so we want to find this x over here so of course we don't know its value v o x we know because we know the value of v which is 20 and we know the angle which is 18 or 8 but we don't know t so we know the speeds in the x direction because it's constant so the final the final position of y we do know because we know that this height is 2.3 meters so if we we choose that up here it's zero meters 
and downwards is positive the final position in the y direction is 2.3 so this is 2.3 we know its value you could choose that the ground should be 0 and upwards should be 2.3 but that's just an option it would be uh, it would lead to the same results so we don't know the value of t the acceleration of gravity we do know the value of t we don't know the initial speed we know the final speed we don't know the acceleration no t we do know we don't know we know we the acceleration of gravity we know and delta y we know as well okay so those are the equations that we have you know that you have to find x so in order to find x you have to find t so though that's what the equations tells us that's why you circle the things that you don't know so it's easier for you to see what you have to do so in this case here what we have here we have to find t and the equations that gives us t is this equation over here so we have to solve this equation first to find the value of t and then replace it in uh, in the first equation and then we can find x okay so for so let's do that so y equals to v o y t plus a y t is squared over 2 so 2.3 is equal to v o y which is 20 times the sine of the angle which is 18 degrees plus 9.8 in this case the acceleration of gravity is positive because we choose that downwards it's positive times t squared over 2 so this is a second degree equation you can solve it the way that you know so if you solve this equation you would find that t is equal to 0 0.46 seconds that's it no or no 0 0.3 seconds sorry 0 0.3 seconds so that's the time it took for the ball to hit the ground uh, at this, uh, in this, the first situation here so that's the value of t so now that we found t we can find x so x1 is equal to v o x which is equal to v times the cosine of the angle times t and this is equal to 20 times the cosine of 18 degrees times 0 0.3 and this gives us 5.71 meters so this is the value of delta x1 and now we have to find delta x2 for delta x2 we're going to use the same equations the only thing that changes is the angle so let's start from this equation here so 2.3 is equal to 20 times the sine of 80 degrees plus 9.8 times sorry there is a t over here right t is squared over 2 so this leads us of a t of 0 0.46 seconds and now we can use this time in this equation over here so x2 is equal to v times the cosine of the angle times t and this is equal to 20 times the cosine of 80 degrees times 0 0.46 and this gives us 9.06 meters so this is x2 this is x1 what we want is delta x which is equal to x2 minus x1 or delta x2 minus delta x1 which is equal to 9.06 minus 5.71 and this gives us 3.35 meters and that's the answer of this exercise